morning. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Body beat down here on this Wednesday morning, hump day morning, being attacked by a mosquito or something. It's good times. Good fun times. So, yesterday, pretty good little workout. If you didn't watch the video, maybe go back and watch it. Also, if you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing if you want to. So I'm pretty happy with my elevated deadlifts I did yesterday. Pretty happy with that. And uh, we'll see where that goes. We'll see where that goes. So today, if you've been keeping up with things, we should be hearing back uh, from the people about the house that we put a bid on. You know, it's kind of a... Uh, the situation that we're kind of in is just kind of a... Uh, one of those situations you don't want to be in. We'll go into a little detail here. I'm open about my life. I don't care. I don't have nothing to hide. And I think we ought to be open with our lives and everything. Uh, it's a good experience for other people, I think. Uh, so here we go. The house that we bought, my in-laws uh, helped us get. Uh, when they moved back here, they helped uh, us put the down payment down on this house. And they also did the same thing for their son. Uh, on another place and uh, so anyway we didn't want this house that we're in because we could see especially me coming from a construction field I could see everything that was wrong with it now I didn't know the septic was wrong with it and I didn't really know the HVAC was that wrong with it but the house itself I could tell needed a lot of TLC and even my wife she didn't want it either but they were pretty adamant on saying you know it's this house or nothing uh, we want you over here by us in this nice neighborhood etc etc so here we are we're in this nice neighborhood and uh, really kind of against what we really wanted but it is what it is we, uh, we've been here since, we've been in here since September 2015. And of course, right as we move in, we start having problems. The septic system is trash. The HVAC system is trash. A couple of the sinks of the sinks, the plumbing under the sink and all that leaks. Uh, the laundry area, uh, one of the supply lines in that area was leaking. The hot water heater sucks, will not stay lit. It's all screwed up, won't stay lit. So I've been messing with that for however many years. So anyway, when we move in here, within four months or six months, Within, a, within like a month or two, we'll start there. Within a month or two, we're already having to get the septic system pumped out. And then by April of 2016, we've already had to get it uh, pumped by that time like four times. So... We end up having to get a second mortgage to get a whole brand new septic system put in. So it has two tanks. It has a pump system. Uh, one tank is for wets, one's for dries. Uh, so the pump pumps the liquids under the driveway over into the field line that we had to get put in like 300 feet. Plus, we have a curtain drain that we had to get put in around the whole property. 
well, that side and then this side, uh, not the front area. So that's $10,000 worth of work. At the same time, the air unit don't work. The heat works, it's a split unit. So the, the heat was working, but the air didn't work. It worked for about a minute, literally. So then we end up having to get air units and stick in all the windows. Money, money, money. And eventually, our credit goes back up enough uh, after a couple of years or so to where we could go through our power company and they financed us a new HVAC, which is right over there. So we got that put in. It don't work all that well, but whatever. I've only told them that since the day it was put in. So we're looking at a house that needs a lot of work. Kitchen is completely garbage, needs to be gutted, redone. Floors need to be redone. The lean-to on the roof, the lean-to uh, over the carport, it needs to be ripped off and redone because it has waves in it. The driveway needs to be ripped up and a new one put down. It needs a lot of work. It needs about fifty to $70,000 to get it where it needs to be. So that's another loan or refinancing your house. So, no matter what we do, we're looking at a at a, a longer payment, you know, than what we already got. The way it is, if we just lived in the house as it is right now, we'd have it paid off by the time I was like 58, 59, 58, 59. I'll be 52 this year. So that was great. I thought, wow, man, we'll have a house paid for you know whatever but it needs all that work so what do you do pay it off when you're 58 59 years old refinance or you get us some sort of loan whatever now you got to pay on that 50 60 70 thousand dollars for the next 10 15 years there's no reason to even own a house if you're going to be paying on a house your whole entire life you might as well just rent it somewhere from a, a good place, you know, people that actually take care of stuff. You know, you might as well just rent if you're going to have a house payment your entire life. There's no difference. Except when you rent, you don't have to take care of nothing. You know, you just call up the property management and, hey, this is wrong, come fix it. Okay. So, there's goods and bads to home ownership. Uh, everybody swears by it and a lot of older people and I'm not older people that I'm talking about well maybe I am but generation after generation they've you know everybody's preached you need to own your own home you know you're paying someone else for your you know whatever you know you're paying someone else for this and you're not getting anything out of it well you're not getting to spend all your money on maintenance having to worry about stuff that's what you're getting you're getting peace of mind so unless you do things very young and you get things paid off and you take care of things very young it's one of those iffy things don't wait until you're older to do things because then it just don't make sense now if we were rich and we wanted to get another house and we could have it paid off in five or ten years, which would be stupid. You know, or you have enough money to just outright buy one. Okay, that's different. But when you got a finance, it's a scary business. So, having said that, this new house that we're getting, not new, but, you know, potentially the house that we're going to get if uh, they accept our bid, you know, it's five times what this house that we're in costs. I mean, crazy. And interest rates are up. Way up. So, in the few years that we've been in this house, you know, everything has changed. We all know that. Everything has totally 
skyrocketed out of control. So, you can imagine the type of payments we're going to have now. A 30-year mortgage instead of the 15-year mortgage that we had with this house. I'm not going to live another 30 years. <laughs> so, and my wife ain't going to live another 30 years. Guarantee. But we can either do this and have a house that really don't have any issues or we can end up refinancing and having to completely gut this house that we're in and redo all of this and still have a, a mortgage doing that. So either way you're gonna be stuck with a mortgage. Either way you're gonna be stuck with higher interest rates and even though we got our whole septic system fixed, replaced, I'm not gonna say fixed, replaced, there's still the potential for problems because this land doesn't perk. In other words, water, liquid does not move very freely through this soil. So, you know, uh, and plus, the pump that they had to put in to pump the liquids across the driveway into the field line, that pump could go out any minute. And that's going to be probably a thousand dollars for the pump and the maintenance or, you know, replacement, whatever. So that's a potential, you know, thousand dollars right there at any minute. And we don't have that. So You know, I'm doing something that I know better than to do. But at the same time, the other option is either live in this house as it is until it falls down around us or get another loan or refinance and fix the house up. That's the only options. One option, I don't want to live like a bum. And the other option is, well, we're going to have a higher mortgage, a longer mortgage again, etc. That's the only options there. So, anyway, just filling everybody in on kind of some stuff that's going on. Uh, just kind of talking stuff through in my own brain. And, uh, morning. Whew. So, you know, there's a lot to think about, guys, whenever you start adulting. A lot of stuff to think about. And uh, you want to try to do stuff as right as you can. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. Oh, let me add another scenario that I've been wanting to do, but the wife don't want to do. Now, we could have stayed in this house that we're in, stayed it out until we got it paid off. Then we could have sold it, of course, as a fixer-upper, taken that money, went and bought a brand new trailer, set it up on a lot somewhere, and be good to go without any mortgage, anything at all, and a brand new dwelling now I have nothing against trailers I've grown up in a trailer before we've lived in a trailer me and my wife before a couple of times I have nothing against trailers but over time my wife has gotten a little too good for trailers and she don't want to live in a trailer again even though trailers are ten times nicer than this house we're in so, we have smart options, in my humble opinion, and then we have the options that we're going to do. So, 
it's not that I don't know what needs to be done. It's just getting your significant other on board with what needs to be done. The smart thing. Now, if we were 20, 30, even 40, they might be different. But I'm going to be 52, and she's going to be 50 this year. So, it's kind of a roulette game. Or a Russian roulette, I should say. <laughs> you just don't know what to do, and when you do something, it's usually going to be the wrong thing. So, anyway, the positive things about all this are, well, my youngest son and us, we've all went in on this house together. My oldest son, he's going to be living with us, but we didn't have him put on any of the papers. We didn't want him part of it. He's not reliable. He's not responsible. He's not an adult. He's a 30-year-old man-child. I think most families have those. And if you watch this video, Jared, I love you, but you know it's true. Girl, you know it's true. <clears throat> anyway. Which my son won't watch this video. They don't watch my videos. But the one video out of the two, three, four, ten thousand, he'll watch this one. Oh well, it's life. So, my wife, I, me, we, and my youngest son have went in on this house. This is my youngest son's first house, along with us, you know, going in with us. Uh, is, I think kind of, he, he's, he expressed last night to me that he's excited and happy and ready to do it because his old brother, our oldest son, he lives with him and he's tired of taking care of him. And uh, it'll kind of put the burden, I guess, on all of us instead of just him. It's sad that, it's sad that it seems like most families have that one person in their family that just won't try. They do everything in their power to dance around trying. You can't dance around it. Because you hurt those that love you. So anyway, I don't want to get in on that. Anyway, we're talking about house. Don't get me going, guys. So... There's some good stuff. Number one, well, it's a house. It's It's been remodeled, redone. It looks nice. Uh, it's no, it's not like a huge house or anything. It's uh, barely any larger than the house that we're in, if not close to the same. So, well, barely and close would be about the same thing, wouldn't it? Come on, Mike, get it together. But it's newer as far as all the uh, renovations and stuff like that go. Uh, another uh, thing that I wanted in a new home is to make sure that it has a nice flat yard like we have already. And this house has a nice flat yard, nice little square lot, corner lot, just like we got here really. And it has a big building. And that's where I'm going to have my gym. It's unfortunate the building is a little ways away. It's probably 100 yards away. Maybe not that far. It's probably, I don't know. It's a little ways. In my, in my head, it's like a mile away. But, you know. So, my gym is going to be out there. It has electricity. And it's even got some insulation. So, a concrete slab, metal building, insulated, you know. Uh, 
So, you know, the, the scenario, the whole situation does have some pluses. It's, it's a nice house. It's right there. It's on the other side of town. Uh, so anyway, I'm a little further from where my bus start, my bus route starts. So I'm going to have to drive a little distance to get to the beginning of my bus route. But again, everything can't be perfect. So anyway, guys, I'm trying to touch on everything that's going on right now. That's what she said. And uh, maybe some of what I said will help people that's in the same position. You know, think things through. Make sure you're going to do the right thing. Don't just spur the moment. You know, I know what needs to truly be done. It's not that I haven't evolved and learned over the years. I know what truly needs to be done and, and happen. But when you're with somebody, both parties have to be on the same page. So, anywho, it is how it is and what it is. And uh, also good news, uh, the house does have a attached garage and uh, my youngest son is going to help uh, pay for us to close it in and uh, make a nice little family room out of it like I did in the very first house that they grew up in a uh, house that I built we moved in it in September of 1996 my oldest son was about two years old my youngest son had just been born and uh, we lived there for 15 years and uh, I closed in the garage uh, made it a room even ran air ducts to it and uh, it was everything from a gym to a home theater to a game room family hangout everything so it was pretty awesome and that's what we're gonna do to this new one so he's uh, he's really excited about that so I like making him happy because he's a hard worker and uh, he deserves some happiness and uh, and uh, yeah so we're gonna I think it, you know if this all goes through yeah it's gonna be a bigger expense and we're gonna have a mortgage our entire lives but I think we're gonna have some fun and I think it'll work out in the end so guys a long walk and talk Whew. I gotta quit these so if you found this somewhat interesting at all maybe like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down that's me Michael <laughs> your winded host Whew. oh today is chest and leg day Make sure you check out all the videos, guys. I got like 2,000 videos. That'll keep you busy at least for a day or two. Okay? Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. Ooh, and I got a couple things coming in the mail, too. We'll do a video on them when they come in. Guys, we'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!